you can hear it clicking as it goes from tooth to tooth. Point zero zero three inches. That's my crown wheel to pinion backlash. Seventy one to eighty Spitfire. I got to pull this shield off, take off the pinion nut washer, pull this support off, drive out the pinion. There's the the nut cover. Okay, that is not a reverse thread. All right, and I need some kind of a metal tool here to bolt it to this to hold it as I break this thing loose. Pinion uh, in and out. Pull her down and lower this. I'm going to zero it and then see if it moves up. 0 0.001 inches. Okay, I am marking the nut right at the corner and this uh, flange. So that's where the nut started. Okay, I've got my, my tool made for the flange on the pinion. And now I'm going to see how many pounds it takes to get it released. Yeah, it may not be pretty, but you know what? As long as it works. 25, 50, 75, took 75 pounds. Now I got to count how many times that nut rotates so that it can go back on the same way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and quarter. Well, eleven and one eighth. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pull the pinion flange. Done. There's no no pressure on that at all. This is a retainer's seal again. Two three one dash one three seven. Dash one four. Right in the book here is to take a hardwood block and a mallet, drive it out carefully. Well, it's moving. There it is. Okay, here's the seal. All right, here's the moment maybe some of you have been waiting for. I know I have. Is it a new pinion with a crushable, or is it the shim? It is the crushable. With the, the head bearing, front bearing is still in here. So the crushable sleeve up against the front bearing. Front bearing fits right here. I'll take it out next. Blocks for elevation. The front bearing is loose. My 29 millimeter socket fits in there inside the race right up to the, the pinion bearings bearing will push out the oil seal I can feel it moving this is a Timken M84548 made in England said the oil seal it's a leather little notches in the case bearing race under that Let's tap this out says to drift it out evenly. All right, it's out. Now the front one. The front bearing is small. We're looking at about an uh, inch and a half. The pinion head bearing is much larger. 
we're looking at two and a half inches. Front bearing, pinion head bearing. And then I'll have to drive that one out. The front bearing race, 2.251 inches. The pinion head race, 2.69 inches. You can see pinion head, front bearing. Pull her on the crushable sleeve. Holding the heads onto the sleeve with a small clamp. Fit right here. This is where it was. The British tool would fit underneath the bearing race up against the spacer, pinion head spacer. I don't have such a tool. I'm going to have to tear the cage off and then grab the race where the bearing sits and pull it off. Tap it down. Okay, I've moved it enough. <clears throat> I can now get under it with my puller teeth. Yep, that's right. I'm going to heat that bearing up and get it off of there. Bearing number Temkin M88040, made in England. Now the head spacer. Ouch. Head spacer went here. Bearing here. This is the pinion head with the letters. N. Here's an N. Here's the number. 3961. Okay. Now it's evident. It's clear that it matches the crown wheel. This number 3961 with an engraver into the head is the same number on my crown gear 3961 so these are these are match I don't know if you can see the, the two gears it just about fills up that the crown wheel valley with the gear the uh, on the Opinion. Okay, I think I have pretty much tore everything apart and documented it. I'll go through my list, check it twice, see if it's been naughty or nice, and uh, start ordering some stuff hopefully.